Hey everyone. Hey everyone, hi Reese. You know how much I love roller coasters. They have their highs and their lows, but it's always a great feeling to come whooshing into the landing safe and sound. Oh, it sure is. Well, life is kind of like a roller coaster too. You know what? We've just been talking about that. I really want all the boys and girls to come in safe and sound to heaven someday. Me too. But to do that, they need to know that there are really just two possible endings. You're right. There's only two. There's one, which is the ultimate high point, which is living in heaven with God someday. And then the other is really the ultimate low point. It's a bad place called hell. And we don't want anybody to be there. So to make it to that ultimate high point, you really have to become a child of God. We're not born automatically a child of God. And so we have to find out how we can have that gift of eternal life that he will offer us. And it really has something to do with a couple words, doesn't it, Reese? Yeah, it has to do with admit, believe, and forever receive. Right, the first word is admit. Let's all say that one together. Admit. admit. Right. Admit means that you admit to God that you are a sinner. Now, if you don't know what it means to be a sinner, it means that we're not obeying God's rules that he laid out for us in the Bible. And so it might be something like he tells us to obey our parents. Well, maybe we don't always obey our parents, right? I would guess most of you at some point could say, I didn't obey my parents. Or, or he tells us not to complain, but I bet all of us at some point we probably complained. Have you ever complained, Reese? I sure have. Yes. And you know, maybe we've whined or maybe we have been unkind to somebody or, or bullied somebody or been mean. These are all examples of sin. And so we're all sinner. We're sinners. We're born that way and we have to admit that to God. So that's the first step. The next one is the word believe. Let's say that word together. Believe. believe. Yes. So we have to believe that Jesus really is God. And he one day was born into this world. He lived his life on earth as a man, but also fully God. And it was a perfect life. And one day, some men put him on a cross and they killed him, even though he was perfect and he had done nothing wrong, Reese. And then they put him in a tomb and three days later, he rose from the dead. Isn't that cool, Reese? That's way cool. It's so cool. So you have to believe that. Do you believe that Jesus really is God and he really did come and live and die to take away our sins and then he rose back to life? And then the third words are forever receive. Let's say those together. Forever, forever receive. receive. Now that means that if you admit that you are a sinner and you have done wrong before God and that you believe Jesus came to take the penalty and the punishment for your sin and he died on the cross, that's why he did that and rose again, then you can forever receive him if you ask if you can be his child. This is how you become part of God's family. Now, it doesn't mean that necessarily life is always going to be easy. It still might feel a little bit like a roller coaster with some highs and some lows. Because remember, we talked about how we live on a broken earth. And sometimes things just don't always go great anymore. But we have a great and perfect God and we can be his children if we admit, believe, and ask God if we can forever receive him to be his child. Isn't that cool, Reese? Yeah, admit, believe, and forever receive. Right. That is so cool. It is. And you know what? If you are interested in finding out more about how you can become a child of God, make sure that you find someone you know who loves Jesus, that you can talk to more about it. It might be a parent, a friend. It might be someone at your church, maybe even your children's pastor, your pastor, a small group leader. Make sure you find out more about how you can become a child of God. It's the biggest deal 
forever, all right? So admit, believe, and forever receive. Why don't we try saying our echo phrase together before we leave, Reese? Okay, that sounds great. All right, so I'm gonna say admit, believe, and you're gonna say forever receive, okay? And the boys and girls are gonna be with you. You. Okay, here we go. Admit, believe, forever receive. All right, now I think that one is so exciting that we need to say it one more time really loud and jump up and down when we're saying it, all right? Are you ready, boys and girls? If you're sitting, you need to get up. I'm gonna get up, all right? Admit, believe, forever receive. Woo! All right, talk to somebody if you would like to become a child of God. Admit, believe, forever receive.